and we're back to Inkscape 1.3. Let me show you the new font collections feature. I'll create an example text using the type tool. Arial Heavy is by default active in my Inkscape. Let me go to text, text and font. There you will find all of the fonts that are installed on your system and you can apply them here. But it's quite a lot. So let's just say you have some that you always want to use. You can use collections now. Let me open the collections editor. Here we've got the recently used ones. For example, this one, best regards, I've just used it. But you can also create your custom collections. Let me call it tutorial folder. And now you can pick fonts that you always use and put them there. Let me just put a couple in there. So these three, I'll close this one. And now we've got under collections, our tutorial folder right here are activated. And now we've got all of these fonts right here for easy access. And we can apply them to our text. Let me create a new text. I'll call this example two. Here's my last selected folder and font. I can refresh this to the left of the font right here. And now I can pick from all the installed fonts again. When I've got both fonts selected, my mistake here, let me press Ctrl Z. I'll only select the top one right here. I activate the type tool. So all fonts can be selected. And if I go to text, text and font, once again, I've got my tutorial folder right here. If you want to delete your folder, so let's just say you've created one for a YouTube tutorial or by accident, just open a collections editor, select the font folder, and then delete it right here. Now it's gone again. And this is how you can use the new font collections in Inkscape 1.3. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.